It's a new number, so six two. Oh crap! Hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm on Facebook too. Right. right. I'm the other one, so you right. out of there. You out of there. That's it. <laughs> you all right. My little, you, you yeah. on Instagram live. <laughs> hey, yo. It's 9 o'clock. We're going to go live after this show. We're going to go live show. On the Fish Radio Network. Yep. <laughs> Hit it. We're already 21 online. What? Yeah. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, my eyes was itching. Do that mean? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
going on? What's going on, everybody? It is the J and LNA show on the Fishbowl Radio Network. We're in the gray stream now. Great, yeah, we are in the gray stream, uh, bigger room. I'm joined by Michael Bowers, Jay Liggins, and Queen the Comedian is in the house. We're gonna get into uh, y'all hold back from the enthusiasm. This topic, oh, yeah, Sorry. Not, uh, not, uh, not, not right back. now, guys, but it's about last <laughs> week, y'all. I forgot to come up here, man. Oh, back we from do the same like every Wednesday. How you forget? I forgot, hey, like Webby say, I smoked the big blood of that drawer, and I forgot, man, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, man. Say a little weeby. Yeah, little weeby. That's what's up. So, what's going on, man, with the squad? What, what's happening this week? I know. I missed y'all. A last, little bit. Well, this you week, last me. week, within the last seven days. Yeah, man, I, was, I went to the holding wall at, at the 3V out there in East Dallas. Shout out to the 3V, man. And all 10 people that was there. Already, shout out to them. Yeah, it was fun. Is that 10 with you or is that 10 without you? Not so 10, is it 10 without us? Yeah, it, okay. It 10 good. I can't tip 10 good people. Already. You guys had 10 <laughs> patrons. Yeah, but but you know, you gotta start somewhere, you know. You got to. Yeah, it's you know, I missed last night, but oh well. What was last night? I had to go to Greedy's, but you know how there. Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't show up? No, nah, I ain't had no ride. You in a okay. row? Why you got me? Yeah. Got me for everything, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you just go, you gonna leave that there. <laughs> yeah, 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 she, she, she be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see, I see, man. I see how you, what's up with you, Queen? What you been up to? Man, I have just been chilling, working, taking care of my child. Haven't really been um, on the mic lately. Yeah, you said mm-hmm. you were taking a break. I did, I did, and I meant that. Not wrong with it, not wrong with it. You're honing in on other areas of my life right now. What was like your holidays like? I ain't see your uh, holiday, see your oh, sister holidays. you know, my holidays were grand. Me and my family got together. We ate good. We the played games. Too? Yep, the white ones and the black ones. Oh, my man. family is diverse. Why are you trying to be funny? We're, we're, like, slave a, owners. we're like a melting <laughs> pot, whatever. And uh, we opened gifts, ate good. <laughs> Why you look like that? I <laughs> sent my baby and stuff on my a cruise. Country. She just got back Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. Where'd she go? She went to Jamaica. Oh, man. You're making me crazy, mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is about an eight time going. Where'd she go? By the beach? Yeah, you know, they always, you always got to go by the beach when you leave a cold place. Oh, that's what's up, man. Like, yeah. Shout out to the kids traveling, seeing right. the world at a mm-hmm. young age. Filling up a little passport. And you stuff. know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. What, what about yourself, G? Um... I ain't do nothing. Young Garrison, you didn't I do ain't nothing. do no work. I, I just work, man. You know, it's, the, the the grind is real. Y'all yeah. know how I go. Oh, man. You look it, like a grinder. It never stops. <laughs> yes, sir. The grind is real, Young Garrison said. I'm still Young in, Garrison. I'm, Who's Young I'm Garrison? working still in slavery time, man. Oh, man. Young we know that. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> you said you still in slavery time. Yep. Yeah. What's that mean? Everybody, everybody in slavery time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't you know. care to elaborate or you just going to throw that nah, out I there? I just going to go right over your head. Leave it on the table. Go right over your head in a way. So I ain't going <laughs> to say me. Hey, I'm not. I'm not. I ain't no sense I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this. Get in on that. Abolition is tough. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, we don't understand. We don't understand the language before English. No, we don't. You know what I'm saying? You get to talking that, that tell holy, us about it, Frederick. That Douglas. holy language. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> now nah, he just saying that we slaves to the men because let we get up every free. day and work for let them. my people free. Not get enough. Whatever, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> so well, man, I ain't do nothing over the weekend. Oh, I work the same old drunk? thing, man. Did I get drunk, man? First of off, I don't even drink. So how, how, how does that even, you know what I mean? If you don't drink, I'm white. Oh, but we, well, oh, hey, man, how do y'all, we can do what we did while the song was on. Hey, you hey, just hey, right here lying. Jay, Jay has been, been bleaching his. He's he been doing that bleaches. He's been bleaching his. Yeah, he's been bleaching late. We know you. You got to be telling stuff like that to people that ain't never met you before. Y'all already know. They ain't first day seeing you. <laughs> Y'all already know what it is. It was, you know, working the rest of that holiday weekend and, you know, just getting a good start on the next week. Yeah, the, uh, we, had, we had a great start on the next week. Already. We had a great start. Dallas Cowboys won. 
Oh, oh man, shout out to the Great Dallas job. Cowboys, not, not man. Not for you, because we know you don't mean it. We don't. No, nah, I mean, shout you. out to them. We well, I, I want the Cowboys to win for no, my own personal financial gain. I could care less if they win, but if they do win, things seem to be better in the city, and I seem to make more money. So, <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, Am we, I lying, G? We're we going to win the next game. Too. I hope so. I hope so, because if y'all win the next game and um, Philly win, y'all can play another game here. In, uh... That's right. That's right. So, yeah, that, that'll be great, man. And uh, what the playoff tree looking like, though? So the Rams play the Cowboys. Um, and uh, uh, Philadelphia play, Philly uh, play New Orleans. New Orleans, okay. And uh, uh, the Chargers, L.A. Chargers play uh, – who the, the, the team play? we don't like? Uh, New England. <laughs> oh, New uh, England. Play Uncle Tom there. Yeah. Yeah. They play Uncle Tom there. Uncle Tom, Tom there. Man, man. It's, one more, it's one more game on that side, ain't it? Uh, uh, no, it ain't no other game. Uh, that's only three. That's well, only three games. Uh, the, the Saints play. That's all the, the Saints play Saints. Philly. Not, uh, oh, the, no, just the Saints play. Okay, well, the Saints play. play uh, Cowboys no, play. Saints play. Cowboys play the Rams. Uh, the Chargers play New England. But who else play on the on the AFC side? Uh, Kansas City and Kansas, yeah, Kansas City, um, Indianapolis. Yeah, Indianapolis. Yeah, Indianapolis. Yeah. Okay, Indy. so who we got? Who we got? Well, obviously, I'm gonna say y'all both gonna pick the Cowboys. I, I say so Kansas you know, City. Gonna... Kansas City gonna win that game. Okay. All right with the Colts. And okay. Uh, the Rams gonna lose against the Cowboys. Okay. Um, and Saints. Gonna lose against Philly. Saints gonna lose against Philly. I, 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 I say I'm. Hey, I'm picking it. You heard hey, it. You heard it here I, I, first. I tell, I tell you on what, the J and L and A show. If, if the Saints lose against uh, uh, the Eagles, Popeyes, Buck, all the was a hoe, and Wimpy smoke crack. But all of, all of that is true though. <laughs> 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 you know that How you gonna right come now? out with three facts and be I like, you know <laughs> "Them's be facts, bro. Oh, Them's be know, facts." <laughs> Nah, man. Okay, so I'm taking Kansas City. I want Kansas. I like Kansas City over the Chargers. Um, I want the Cowboys to win over the Rams, but they're not. Um, and then I want the I want Philly to win over the Saints, but they're not. And um, yeah, uh, New England's gonna win. New England's gonna definitely be put in that position. So New England, they gonna win over the Chargers. So man. yeah. So I guess that wraps up sports. <laughs> I mean, because you know how it is. Well, shout out to uh, the Mavericks. The Mavericks still trying. You know, they still in the hunt. So you know, uh, hunt. that's what's they up. In the hunt against what? Uh, time. Yeah. You know, they in the hunt against time. I mean, that's, that's, that's about it. It's, it's, it's only a matter of time. To... <laughs> You are, you are a bandwagon fan, yes. You, you are. You are a bandwagon. So I can't have two teams. You got 18 I, I if that's what you want to do. I'm a Lakers fan. Yeah, you are. I don't know, but Cowboys and the Lakers, that's two different teams. That's right? two different states. Two different sports. Two right? different sports. I'm, 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 I'm a Lakers fan right now. Uh, you know. That's see, that's how Dallas dudes be, man. Like they, like they'll be one team that's successful in a city. They'll be they fan, but the one that ain't successful, they gonna shun them. That ain't no Detroit. Like Detroit, hey, we hey. we lose all our teams. We yeah. rep all our teams. We don't like care. You, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Fan, but I'm a Lakers fan. No, you said you're a Mavericks fan, but you said you was a Lakers fan first. That would have never popped out of my mouth. Like there's no way Lakers I could be a nobody. Laker fan before. You know what I'm saying? The job, fan of my. Detroit trash. Uh, yeah, we are. Trash. We are, but we proud of it though. Yeah, is there something wrong with that? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it is, it is. Hey. I thought me and me go. You know what I'm saying? We in a bigger studio, but in here we got fans. We got fans. And, and we need that other. Yeah, man, that other thing be blowing that. What, whatever it is, that, that's good. We need All to right, get one of those. Right. Yeah. I stay. But I think you have to have a vent because I think it goes up to the vent. I don't think it's a vent here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it goes up to the vent and pulls the air out of the duck or whatever. So it is uh 21 19 mm-hmm. after the hour, Savage. 9 20, 9 19. Yeah, man, it's the JNLA show on the Fishbowl Radio Network. We're in the Savage gray type. stream now, y'all. Gray stream, what's that new number? Y'all gonna have to follow us. The number is 214 556 6239. Shout that's out to the, my little homeboy Zach. Too, that's the calling. Shout out to Zach. Yeah, with, with the trap clothing, pressure clothing. All right. Tell, tell Zach, him to man. send a shirt, man. Call in hot. Tell hey. him to send a shirt. We're gonna be launching some new, some new um uh, some, some new segments. Already. Uh 
I want to, you know, talk to you guys about doing some like uh, some like profile business profiles and stuff like that, like ensuring people content. Uh -huh. Sharing is caring. All right. So we all gonna go. We all gonna go around the room, and you're gonna share somebody else's content. Okay. Yeah, and, and I'm looking for the feed. most foul or sad stuff. To share. If you got cheated on. <laughs> or you ran out of gas, your car got stole. Dog just I'm died. going to share that. I thought it was something like business content. That too. Well, now, uh, I mean that too. If you, you know, yeah, that too. Well, we're gonna be doing business spotlights. So, so we starting to share this caring. I like that, man. That yeah. sounds nice, man. Yeah, that is caring. And you know even what? Your woman. You know how much a person appreciated, yeah. like if you share yeah, something, yeah, like yeah. even if don't nobody <laughs> like it yeah, or none yeah, of that, yeah. just the fact that you did it, it right. just makes them feel good and that's what lna the jn lna show uh you know that's that's what it's all about man so yeah that's right that's right can, that's what man. that's what we're gonna do y'all so be looking out for that sharing is caring even your woman segment is gonna oh be coming oh, oh up and soon. let me shout out uh you know are we still doing that now or you are we now okay well care. i'm gonna share my person then because i got some good news um uh, from a very close uh Post family share it friend. on your social media though i'm gonna share it on there I, I, i'll put it up i'll put it up on here uh, uh, uh a very close family friend man my my brother's been uh married for like 18 19 years and um his wife's best friend my sister best friend erica michelle um, has just purchased an internet radio company, actually. That's what's and up. And she's getting ready to launch her own internet hey, radio fact, brand. You so didn't talk to her and tell us to stream my show. Yeah, definitely. On definitely. On her station. Definitely. He, he, he that to give us a night. Yeah, hey. That, there we go. They, he, they in the H, though. So I don't know how it works. Town. Yeah. Down there. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but so shout out to Erica Michelle, and she said, hey, "What's up, George?" Thing. She said she was influenced by watching us, so I want to give y'all y'all praise. That's you know what I'm saying? Because she like can watching we the get show, royalties so with, since we were there at the time of creative inspiration? <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> So what you're saying is, look, we can see you. Yeah, yep. what there you said you go, is, man. she uh, owe us some money. Yeah. Give, give us a round of applause. Right. <laughs> we inspired somebody in the JNLNA shows. <laughs> you know, I mean, girl, like the Rito, that's not <laughs> your cheese. Oh man, I, I want to keep going with that. Uh, it's all it's automatic. Good. We're in a new you know, studio, so I don't know how to work this board right here. Already, already. <laughs> it's yeah, is it comfortable? Is it, yeah, is it's it all good. It's all board? good. How does the mic? Does the mic sound the same? My mic or? sounds nice. Check, Check one. one. My mic sound nice. Put it Check all the way two. up to you. My mic sound nice. Put it all the way up to. That's it. That's no, how. That's how we do it in the old school. <laughs> I'm not about to play. But uh, y'all want to get into uh, you know the hot topic of the. The whole weekend was the uh, Surviving R. Kelly docuseries on Lifetime Channel. I'm sure all of us have our, our opinions, thoughts, and comments on the subject. And I'm sure you guys have a lot to say on the subject. And uh, if y'all want to call in, call in at 214 Five five six six two three nine. That's our new calling number five, since we're in a new five, studio. Six, new studio, new room. Five five six six two three nine. But uh, we're gonna get into that, and I'm gonna play Michael's Michael's uh, jingle here. I got a jingle, fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it ain't jingle line, jingle line, jingle line, jingle oh, line. Oh, my, the boy froze. Oh, it happens sometimes. It nah, do that I Meanwhile, hey, yo, Michael oh, Bowers, you got the news or what, man? What, what up, what up? It's your boy, Michael Bowers, tuning in for the JNLNA show and the JNLNA show's news. Our news is not a representation of the Fishbowl Radio Network. This is just our views on the news and our comedic opinions and sometimes our serious opinions it's myself as i said michael bowers queen the comedian jay liggins and rhino mike the son um so as y'all already know we gonna uh be talking about survive the surviving r kelly uh is it a docuseries docuseries it's a docuseries which um, he was a part of which he he was a part of um who was aura yeah how, how are you he, a part of 
She yeah. wasn't on there, was she? Wasn't in it. No. Bad, 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 please. If y'all been pay, uh, paying attention to Facebook, social media, he just put out there that he put everything out there. He he is a part of that. He was a part of creating that. He put his uh, uh baby mama in that. He put Sparkle in on that. He did all that to get y'all to talk about him. Hey, it, all right. Well, you started off then. Let's it, go it, ahead and it, let's go. Let's go. It get makes that. it makes sense. Go ahead, kick yeah. it off. Tell the people what they need to know about. Uh, no, you got the story, Michael. Michael, and that's why they call you <laughs> French. <Michael. laughs> I'm about to play with you, bro. Yeah. I'm not playing you with you, ahead, bro. Michael. No, I mean, you know, obviously we all know what the story is. Um, if you just want me to start off, like you know, just kicking off as far as my opinion, I can uh go ahead with that. Uh, my opinion is this, man, and, and I know it's gonna probably rub a lot of people the wrong way. Um, first and foremost, I have to say that R. Kelly, by all means of the imagination, is wrong for messing with any underage females. Oh, we got a for- call already. Oh man! Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit too. Already. Uh, hey, turn me up. Turn me up in the headphones, B. Exactly. Hey, call it this from Jan LMA. So talk to me quick and don't be slid. No, I mean you know obviously we you know. know what the story yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, what up, hey. though? Turn turn your radio down in the background. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Good. Yay, yay. Hey, what up, though? What up, though? What up, though? What I'm up, calling though? in from the D. I got something to say about that. Uh, the, the second D. <laughs> <laughs> don't pay, don't pay, <laughs> Jay, no attention. <laughs> second, second. I ain't going to say nothing too bad, though. Okay, okay. Well, let the, let the people know how you feel and keep it real. Okay, I'm going to keep it all the way real from the D. Ain't no cussing, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what up, though? Oh, tell me when when you're ready for me. Oh, we ready? We ready? You live? Oh, that's all. okay. You yeah, let's talk about this, R. Kelly. Did y'all know on the Arsenio Hall show yeah, some time ago, 2013 or something, but however, on the Arsenio show, he wrote a song called Shut Up. Did y'all hear it? Mm-mm, nah. It's a song he wrote called Shut Up. You should listen to it. When you listen to it, then let me know after you hear that song. So is it on YouTube? Yeah, go on YouTube. It say R. Kelly Shut Up. Okay, okay. And this is like a this is like a, a interview from like back in his heyday or it, it's an interview from back in the day, but it's more so to me. It's like he been saying it on every song. He he said it word for word. He told on himself. Nobody ever listens to his music. If you listen to the words of his music, he said it clearly what he does. But if you listen to Shut Up, it's basically like he predicted like sooner or later somebody going to find out and that was the song. You got to hear it. Okay. You got to hear it. Well, without giving that yeah. part of the uh, situation away, because we definitely want to check that out. Um, how else do you feel about the whole situation? I mean, like... The whole our- situation is we've been through this. This right. ain't nothing new. That's what right. I'm getting at. Fact. We've been through this about R. Kelly. We all playing crazy. I I, I had watched a, a video not too long ago about the little girl whose parents were begging for the little girl to come out. And R. Kelly got her so brainwashed where she wouldn't even... She wouldn't even communicate. Basically, told her parents to leave her alone, you know. And it seemed like he just had her brainwashed. I seen that a long time ago. Then I knew it was a big problem because that was serious. So basically, but everybody overlooked that. Them parents was begging for their daughter to come home. So then, right. so this is not nothing new. I just think, you know, and it, it's bad that they put in on R. Kelly by him being of our color and everything. But they've been all the just with the Hugh Hefner. He's been with the all them young white. I'm trying to watch my language at the same time. <laughs> Appreciate but, it. Um, Hugh Hefner, he was with all those white girls, and nobody never said nothing. That it, what's the difference? I mean, nobody is doing anything. I fought him. I fought R. Kelly for what he did, but that's he basically said, "Y'all, I've been doing this. I really want y'all to hear the song. I really want to call for y'all to see that video or that." Or I actually, I posted it on my page, but. Um, the the actual one that I saw first, he was live, but he do have that same video on YouTube. Okay, that's on your Facebook video. page, huh? That's on your Facebook page. You posted it on your Facebook page. I posted it on my Facebook page, yeah, okay, okay. and it's called "Shut Up." 
It was him and um, Art Kelly. Okay. I post it again, and I'm gonna tag your name in it. Okay, cool, 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 definitely. Yeah, but y'all watch that while you get these calls. I bet you have a better outlook. He's been saying it on all this time, but that one right there really says something different to me. Right, like he said it, like it's coming. <laughs> all right, well, we it's uh, coming. we appreciate the call. You know, we got to keep uh these calls coming in, and we appreciate yep. the love and support from day one. Shout out to Cuz. Shout out to uh, Detroit. Yeah. Detroit, man. That's so, what's up. you know, uh, second hey, man, town. keep tuning Thank in. Uh, we gonna we gonna get into some deep uh conversation here in a second. Okay, we'll do. All, All right. right, keep tuning in. Okay, but uh, yeah, man. I mean, I well, I had to go out the room, y'all. Yeah, I yeah, no, okay, yeah. I was about to break it down. Uh, how I felt, but w- when are we going to uh break? Are we doing the thirty? Are we doing the thirty three? Uh, know. we're at twenty. We're at thirty now, so. We can keep going for a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. So I guess uh, you want me to bust it open or what? Yeah, bust it okay. open. Don't say it like uh, that, man. I, don't, don't say it like that. That's, don't, don't that's what like R. That. Kelly said. That's what R. Kelly said. Don't say it like that. Man, you can't, you can't say it like that. You know, that, I hope man. y'all can appreciate man, bust it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't say it like that. Right, <laughs> cool, man. Man. <laughs> okay, so going back to what I was saying, man, uh, I do believe that – um. It is all wrong, no matter what, anytime you're dealing with any underage, you know, child, no matter what. But with that being said, a lot of these females was brung to R. Kelly by older females. And a lot of the times it seems like or they've even made mention that an older female, R. Kelly and other younger females were engaging in uh, sexual activity. My question is, is. In these cases, like uh, R. Kelly's, where it's other grown-ups involved, and yeah, they mainly are female, why is there never nobody else charged but the male where it's other people that know that of, uh, of age that could stop and do something about it? And I'm talking about mainly the, the, the females who bring these other younger females to them. Why are they never charged? Like if the statute of limitations, I guess, or I don't even know if that's the case, but if it runs out on them, why? I mean, I'm not saying he's not wrong, but I'm saying why are they not charged if he's charged? I mean, that's true. My my whole thing is you had some, some of the women saying that while they were engaged in these sexual situations, they you know, we're having sex with some of these young underage girls. Yeah. Okay. Don't they make her a pedophile? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it not? <laughs> like Sparkle. Sparkle yeah. brought, Sparkle brought that's her right. niece in there. Flesh and blood. Like Sparkle, yeah. She introduced Flesh and blood. her Sparkle. niece to R. Kelly. And she know how he get down. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and uh, Sparkle, you can, from the back. Man. I want, I can't say it on that. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, SMD from the back. Man, <laughs> yeah, crazy. I mean, but I mean, really, though, I mean, like, that's her niece, that's her flesh and blood. She's been involved with R. Kelly yeah. at that point in time. I mean, we all know R- Sparkle had an album, R. Kelly wrote that album, right? Like, that's the reason why we messed with Sparkle because we knew him from R. Kelly. Yeah, so she brought him a present. This is what I'm thinking. This, yeah. I'm just being honest, she brought him a present for the album, and you know, whatever, whatever, in the form of her niece. Yeah, and, and like you said, no, how you get out, yeah. But it, it, it is, you know, it, 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 Pete said it the other day, man. I, I just can't see my family. I see my child in there. It ain't no throwing no rocks. Ain't no knocking on door. Everybody, yeah. Everybody coming about it, huh? Yeah. It's expensive. I'm going to start off. I'm going to set that fire. Now, we all going to get our opinions in, but we definitely got to get the uh, female opinion, the uh, the de- the more in-depth opinion, because I'm imagining, especially as you know, a, a, a person that goes out from time to time. We just gonna say from time to time, yeah, you know, uh, and being involved in urban uh, situations, whatever. Um, you may have been an R. Kelly fan at some point in time, or you may have rocked with some songs, or you may still do. Queen, the comedian, you have a daughter as well, teenage oh, daughter. You talking to me? What, yeah, what are your opinions me? about the situation? Um, I can count. It's crazy on the cool. It's such a sub. It's it's so complex. It really is. I know that um, people have sicknesses. I feel like people are way darker than we sometimes think they are. You looking at my skin when you say that? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
like people, you know, are darker individuals than we often want to see them as, especially when they're doing something to make us happy. Um, I feel like sometimes people will definitely um, ignore signs and warnings in order to get to a different place in life. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, for real, for yeah. real. Like, I sometimes feel like um, it's a lot. It couldn't have been my child. I was going to be like all in prison. Like they were going to take <laughs> me to jail, like back the car into the building. They finna have to come up out of there. Like it's going down. You know, um, I also feel like um, if you, you went ahead and gave them to him, but now you want them back when they 20 something, mm -hmm. it's too late. That's a grown woman now. Mm -hmm. Brainwashed or not. I mean, if they're a lot of them said that they got tired of it and left the house. Well, how long do it take for you to get tired of somebody peeing on you and stuff? Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, you got about two good hours to not feed me, and I'm out of here. Man. Like, no, R. Kelly or not. Like, <laughs> ain't even you ain't even put me in the studio yet. I'm Man. gone. <laughs> like, no. Uh, it's it's just a lot. It's a lot to it, take on. And then on that, you know, I you know, I, I got a daughter as well. It oh, yeah. oh yeah, it ain't a, a you can't give me no amount of money for you to say I, I just want to have your it, it ain't no amount of money for me to give you my I don't know I was 10, 15, 14, 12, 13, how old she is. I don't know. You got to wait, mm -hmm. you got to wait. She old enough. If you can't wait there, that's I mean, just the fact that you want to wait before she even old enough makes me not even want to, yeah. you know, ever allow, you know what I'm Okay, like, but yeah. check it out. You say that. You said that now. Check this out. Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yeah. He met her when she was underage. She was 15, right? And yeah. he said that he was no, going to no, no, wait no, no. till she was old enough to make her his woman. Mm-hmm. He grimy too. Yeah, he said I mean, that. He was, we I don't mean, know. Like, like we was talking about it earlier. Uh, me and Jenny was on the phone talking about it earlier, and I know Dame Dash and um uh, and uh Jay Z was messing with Aaliyah, but I, we don't know the age frame, and we already know what Kells did with her. Yeah. So I mean, they could be. It could be way bigger than we even th think. Like this could really be scratching the surface Definitely. of something you. I feel like it's. I feel Every like. Once you get to a certain place, like normal people like us got normal stuff to do. Right. But when you have an exorbitant amount of money and time and resources and nice. all of that, you get tired of doing normal people stuff Probably after so. a while. And that's when that sinister stuff and that dark stuff come into play. Because you was probably already like that. I'm sure you had a messed up little childhood. Like, I don't mind you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you, you see the R. Look, Kelly brother video? So what the, what the dude that was in jail? No, when he was talking about uh how his sister yeah, the one that was in jail. Okay, okay. molested him. Oh yeah, molested yeah, both yeah. of them. Yeah. I mean, you know. So uh, it's it's just a lot. I feel like you know what I'm saying it's a lot that be going on in people's lives. Um, like it's not he's not the only person. Yeah, yeah I Paula. promise you. Tiger, he's not, Tiger he's and yeah, not and, the only yeah. person. Yeah. Um I feel like if you're gonna bring one down, bring them all down because bringing well, one man down is gonna leave the church. I'm just well, saying, yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we, there we go. The there we go. If, if you there only point go. the finger at one person, you're leaving a whole we bunch will. of children susceptible uh, uh, to harm. Definitely. Oh, uh, we're gonna pull in over out of Gonna take me down. Everybody going down with me. Yeah, I mean, so if you're gonna do it one, do it for everybody. Man. I mean, and here's so the what y'all think about about them stripping and not playing his music. I think they that is hilarious. But they, but they didn't play his music no way. Well, but but he's getting no, more sales. He's getting like he, they're not paying his music, but more people are oh. buying. Yeah, I'll tell you what. My so he's mama still said. getting money. My mama came down here and she was like, "Look, child." Get on here and download all my R. Kelly before they take it away. Yep. Yep. <laughs> she let me go get everything yep. now before it's gone. And that's just how she felt about it. She, well, here's the that's here's she, the question, she, she feel like he's a messed up individual, but you know what I'm saying? Music 
when you when music doesn't bring individualism, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you think about music, you think about moments and the people that you were around, yeah, not the person that's singing the song. You think about what's going on in too, your bro. life. Yeah. If you seen the boom guys, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. all I kid had to do was start singing. That was singing and, and, and court. everybody forget everything. I mean, but but here's the thing though. <laughs> Throughout history, we've seen people in these positions, and I'm gonna have to go back to the race car, and I know Ooh. people get tired of hearing that, but we don't hear about none of these the Kevin Spacey thing you barely hear about. You don't hear about the Harvey Weinstein thing anymore, really. I mean, but Bill Cosby, we seen what happened to Bill Cosby, it was like that. It's always like court. that when you are Bill talking. Got arrested. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bill, you got locked up. It was <laughs> what it was. Hey, hey, what's that fool name up there in New York that uh, adopted that his daughter from China? What, what's the name? Tim Allen. Not Tim no, Allen, but uh, it's what, Allen. Woody, Woody, Woody Allen. Allen. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 you what, don't know Mr. Allen. He's like his girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. His wife. Yeah. Is that not illegal? That, it's the same thing, but they Well, she over can't it. testify against she's married to him now. <laughs> But that's so I mean that that just goes to show you what type of monsters out here and people really don't care and it's right in front of their face. But because it's not new. Certain people and I'm going to have to put this on our culture. Our culture will put themselves out here and our culture's women will put themselves out here to try and make it to a different position. All right, R. Kelly, you shining. You can put me on. You can have whatever you want. You can do what you ever whatever you want to me. Whatever whatever. Then if stuff don't go right, they want to open their mouth. Now, is yeah. he wrong? He's still wrong. But, hey, but it, 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 it's it's like my homeboy just said on my live. My homeboy Kano said, we all have been through it, but why is it so different when it's dudes money? Black with, people with money. It, exactly. It's, it's no different with the white folks. Man. Because when you have money, the people involved can capitalize off the situation. In regular life, what you gonna tell him for? You can't get nothing out of it. He ain't gonna go to jail. You Facts. can't sue him. Can't Facts. nothing happen. Ain't nobody gonna believe you. And you just around here looking like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, he did it. And there ain't nobody fooling with you. Right, right. Because they gonna treat you bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they yeah. go. That's first thing. So it's probably the reason why you're not gonna say nothing in the first place. There was there was people a, hold on to a lot of stuff. There was an interview with um with one of the um do I want to say victims? No, nah. one of the alleged victims. Yeah, alleged victims. She they was the survivors on life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did they survive? Man, I'm like, they got the survivors. Uh, Jocelyn, a savage. Oh yeah, that's the now, one that won't leave. Yeah, it was it was a it was a video of her dad recording her and they were trying to do an intervention <laughs> of her of her getting away from R. Kelly, right? But, but hell he's he the one to send him. Wait a minute. So here's the thing. <laughs> the video is about I think it's three adults and 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 her and they telling her the and the mom is like, look. What he who who you have sex who he make you have sex with who he make you have sex with, and she was like, "What? Would y'all stop talking about him? <laughs> it wasn't even like that." What? She said it was a casual thing that I agreed to, of course. And that it, it was like they was trying to coerce her. They were into doing saying all this stuff, and I was like, "They were." That don't sound like somebody that's been through some. Well, because if she could, if they could approve that she was traumatized, they could sue. Exactly, With black people, right. it's all about but money. But right. It's all about he money. He, he gave it, it ain't it, it ain't ours fault. Yeah, no, that they not. ran out of their money. Now, yeah. now they don't know average person run. I, well, I, I I don't know that because I ain't never had no million dollars. Right, right, right. So I can't say no average person run through a million dollars because I know I'm I'm be big. Trick. The average person gonna run through it quick. Yeah. Nine, but, nine, but the money that ran out, and, and now everybody, everybody wants a piece of the pie now. Right. I'm not. I, I, I ain't taking enough for dude. I ain't taking enough for him now. But I really don't believe that he was holding him hostage me at all. Not they, at they, all. They just couldn't no. leave until he said so. And I don't even Boy, think it was so much. Saying, of that. I don't even think it's so much of that. I think, like, I think he was dealing with multiple chicks, so he really didn't care if one or two leave. Yeah. Because I, I got eight girls over here I, right I, now. 
Y'all two want to go? Go ahead. When y'all come back, y'all two can go. Yeah. We go. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you, you know what I'm you, saying? You leave, uh, I'm going to Arkansas anyway. I just got. Yeah, like, like come on, Arkansas man. Anyway. Kels don't care. It's like though. it's 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 a tragedy. Anytime I feel like anytime an adult can look at any child in a sexual way, yeah. it's no, a terrible definitely, thing. Definitely, it's definitely. a terrible thing. That, that's like, but at the cat- same time. When you know the situation, you know you don't know this man, R. Kelly or not. Where I'm from, you can't come over my house and I sure can't go over yours. Okay. Period, point blank. Right. This go for friends, family, none of that. If there was a boy over there, we couldn't well, I'll, go. I'll, I'll not, you ain't we going. could not go. And they still can't come over here. Period, yeah. point blank. So I don't... I don't see where it got to the point where you were just comfortable enough to leave your child from the jump. With a and yeah, man. and they say that sometimes they just looked up and the kids was gone. Well, he's going to jail today. Right. You're going to jail right. today. Right. If, if my baby got on a flight and she came down there to you today, you're going to jail today. Period. Right. Point blank. I, 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 it's not no. She was only seventeen. She got on a plane and now it's been three years. Nah. That's what over a thousand days what? he would have been looking at my face for the past Seven, thousand 17 days. is legal in a lot of states, but and, and then you know, it's, it's 38 states in, in uh the United States right now that says that you can best it, it, it's that you get married to a 14 year old mm-hmm. 38 states in a lot of states. The legal consent for sex is 16 yeah. years old. 16 years old, but well, either in way, my day, either way, you still, day, gonna, a lot of kids like, you get still gonna see my face. Like, you're gonna see my face, you're gonna have to take me to jail. Like, I'm gonna be around so much, my baby gonna be like, you know what? <laughs> Let me just go and go because she yeah. is not gonna stop. Say that, but like, again, he said it ain't no reason if, if you got a problem with it, ain't no reason for uh, uh, me to be on camera sitting in somebody's chair and, and it, it'll come from my own home. Only reason why I need to be on camera is if I'm on CNN from the jail cell talking yes. about what I did to him. Because I'm showing up every nah, day, man. every single day uh, until my it. baby come out of there. We're going to do the Cupid shuffle on his face. Like, you're going to call the police <laughs> on me. Like, they're going to be like, it's the queen again? Yes, sir, it is. We on the way. Ain't no throwing no rocks, knocking on doors. I'm just- Kick them down, I'm going to go get me a deuce in the quarter. So <laughs> going back to what G said earlier, I think it was a good point. He didn't want to call them victims. Uh, who are, now? obviously, the underage girls are the victims, mm-hmm. obviously. So going back but, to my but point, Who are the underage girls? Well, they can't, I mean, because... Those they not they grown. Yeah, they grown now, but they wasn't even accusing them then. Like they didn't. Only the only time he had that situation was when the tape came out back in the early, late nineties. Okay. Other than that, so what? Who is actually has a case with them right now? Nobody. Now there's now I've heard that they just uh, uh, I think Atlanta and Chicago has just declared that they were gonna they were gonna. Uh, uh, um, go, uh, of an invex- investigation was yeah, going on be- a luncheon investigation. Exactly, but check right. this out. You know, the police are very familiar with what's going on, especially mm-hmm. in Chicago and both Atlanta. Yeah, that, that these Chicago people, these because these girls' parents are out there and they keep calling the police on this man, and the the, po- the girls keep showing themselves to the police. And they're, they're just not yeah. showing themselves to their parents, parents right? Which makes it seem even worse because they talking to everybody on the planet but you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, you know, they knock on the door. The police be like, yeah, this me. I'm looking just fine. Just got my hair done. Yeah, rub it upstairs. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. <laughs> and I look like the only thing the police can come back. Look, ma'am. Yeah, ain't yeah, that ain't what she can do. Yeah. 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 She had on we Gucci did, when I saw saying. her. <laughs> now, <laughs> now TMZ, TMZ released footage of all these alleged accusers at at his concert and back in uh 2016 they made all these allegations they now they at the show screaming and hollering you know like having a good time smiling 
when you ask who coming home with me. <laughs> I'm too. I don't, you know. And, and, and if it was me, if I was trapped, you couldn't take me to no show because I'm going to try to get away every exa- time. Exactly. Like, we finna go to the AAC. Perfect opportunity. Right. <laughs> you you going to be like, no. <laughs> well, see, Queen, Queen, here's the thing. They came to these shows on their own. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's crazy. It's like, it's, it's just, I, it's just, whew. Lord. And these houses that that they were alleged held in in Atlanta, you see the houses don't have no bars on the windows <laughs> because it's like they're saying that he was messing with these underage girls, but but the girls never left. Like yeah, they, so he messing with underage girls that don't want to get away, right? You know, and, and then sometimes being young, they get caught up in the glamour and in the money. The, the young bros is caught up in the money, and, and, and it's like that now. It was like that then, and it all it did was turn over. There they, are they, no they, they amount us into that money. There's no amount of bags and purses you can buy me to slap me around and pick me up yeah. and choke me and pee on me. Again, like they don't make those bags. kind of bags. Like Jesus got to come back and his signature got to be on it. Like they don't make that. It, it don't get that good. Right. It don't get good enough for. There's no amount of money that can make me not eat for three days. Like what are you talking about? Like you can't give me no, not eat for the day. <laughs> like, you got two hours to not feed Man. me. They had now. They said they had to use the rest restaurant in buckets. And buckets. Like you can't pay Who me said? enough. That's what they alleged some of the victims. They some said of they were girls the said, the room yeah, like that. Right. That's I mean, what they said. When you got like a four bedroom mansion. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, like, it, it's, it it sounds, got more bathrooms than bedrooms. Man, it sounds a little stretch. They yeah. could you know, not like, leave out their rooms. They couldn't eat till he said so. They couldn't do nothing till he said so. And they had to pee See, in the now, buckets. Now, 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 everything I just told you, they couldn't leave until he said so. Now, you believe me now, don't you? Okay. I'm just saying, there's no amount of money that could make me. Okay, I mean, but that's just what they saying. I don't believe. That, them. But see, here's the thing, though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but and you ain't even wanted to go nowhere. My right. thing is, this man has homes in Atlanta and Chicago, and who knows where? Else. Where else? Yeah. Now check this out. Now you talking about to have this kind of lifestyle, you got to be working a lot to pay for all this stuff. So yeah. what's going on when this dude is on the road? Right. And, and y'all gotta, still, you at the house, what are you doing? Not to mention, you got to pay a lot of <laughs> Living people a life to, to watch. Secrets. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's, that's a lot for people to hold yeah. on to. Like, I would have been told it a long time ago. That's what you call extortion. I'm finna get you. And then you not, you, you not, I, I, ain't no way somebody can't read gonna hold me out. Really? You can't even read. <laughs> you can't even read. I'm not even gonna play with you. You're not gonna make me, this, make me call me daddy. Spell it first. So tell you, as soon as we get Spell to the parking it. lot, I'm running on the other side yeah. of the car. You finna chase me around this mug for two days. Well, that's how the spelling be. <laughs> I don't think, like I said, I don't even think he held no, no, none of them hostages. I just oh, feel like no. they once they couldn't get no more money out of them or whatever the case may be, maybe he was done dealing with them. Of course, then yeah. they, you yeah. know, like my homeboy said, it's a lot of questions that ain't that, that ain't been answered. It was a, it was a, <laughs> it was an audio came out of the one of the alleged victims that was like in the thirties. She was around 34, 32, 33, yeah, somewhere that in there. Like when he played on <laughs> so, so check this out. The daughter and the ex-boyfriend came out and was like, how is it that you coming home, you talking about you was a victim and you were held against your will, but you were coming home and checking on the kids and calling the kid, calling me, the daughter, and checking in to see if the kids ate and food or not. Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden you're talking about you was held against your will. Hmm. Mm. How is that possible? And you coming home with all these designer jeans and I mean designer clothing and money and all this kind of stuff bragging. Uh I don't, you know, I don't understand it, but anyway, with that said, y'all, we're gonna break into commercial. And, pay uh, bills, gonna, man. and we're gonna we'll be right back. It's the Jane Elena show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I have the nose broke. I still have drink. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Show. Double your pleasure, double your treasure. Listen in to the Commission Radio Show. Yeah, 
I'm feeling hard on that side. That got to be jelly. Oh, crap. The wait is over. Now you can get your own awesome Fishbowl shirts, sweaters, and accessories through the Fishbowl Radio Network website. Log on to fbrn.us, click the easy-to-find swag link at the top of the page, and start rocking the latest FBRN swag. The Fishbowl Swag Store carries pens, backpacks, wallets, phone cases, and so much more. Jump in now at fbrn.us, click the swag link, and join the Fishbowl family. Congratulations from Velvet Oasis Events, wedding and event planning. What a great time for us to get acquainted and determine what style, design, and package will work for your upcoming wedding, gala, social, or anniversary event. We specialize in helping people have a better event experience. Velvet Oasis Events customize your event design with your vision in mind. From beginning to end, we're there to assist. So for that wow experience, you won't forget, remember Velvet Oasis Events. To get more details, go to Velvet Oasis Events event.com velvet oasis event.com or call 817-500-1579 817-500-1579 this year make your corporate event holiday party or birthday magical with the magic mirror photo experience your guests will love it and be talking about it for days plus they'll even get to walk away with their own unique red carpet picture it's fun unique and gives your occasion that special touch that your guests will appreciate the magic mirror find us on facebook to book now search mirror image rentals that's mirror image rental let the magic begin putting in the work fishbowl radio network fbrn.us jump in Hey, Dallas-Fort Worth, this is Brian from Sonic Temple, the cult tribute, and you're listening to the J and LNA show on the Fishbowl Radio Network. Woo! Right here. Uh, <laughs> 
It's right here, but I had it on. On uh, yeah, yeah. Auto, auto DJ, he got it. They got a uh, gospel music. I did. Cause you black here, B. You hot. Miami or somewhere. <laughs> Ethiopia. Or <laughs> yeah. It's just a trap music. I'm trying to pop it on my handstand. Now, put the second one after this. This is the music you to clean up to. <laughs> That's how you know all the songs. You better clean the motherfucking baseboards, nigga. And it better be spotless. Yeah. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Time to clean up. <laughs> that mother in there sitting there smoking a blunt. You in there <laughs> with the smell of clean. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Mm. Oh, look at Rick trying to get with my toy. Why he got so many people with him? They must be doing a music video after this. They look, they, they look like drum majors. Fuck the niggas. Looking like drum lines. <laughs> Is this, this the room Sylvie be in, man? Uh, when Sylvie be having this room, everybody be in it. It was about 12 of us in this month. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. she just put some more seats in there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that means they're playing Brandy and Monica. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Fourth of July outfit. Appreciate OG. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a chair over here by what's the name? Oh, but, but how about you get your purse? How about you get your purse? Be careful. Be careful. What is that? That's what a camera set up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think we can move that. Car. You don't think? No, 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 no. We ain't moving the camera. No, we stop moving the camera. When he come in here, he needs to sit by you. That's why Appreciate you're not moving the chair. Appreciate those leaders in the back. And then he said that you put the mic in the way. Got the game from Beth. Okay. So you put your face up against that nigga face. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go. <laughs> It'll be like a bromance. Yeah. It'll be like a bromance. I'm, I'm here for it. What? Who? Who? Talk. Who? Yeah, go. So <laughs> we charge $35 per person. Man. God damn it. Man. <laughs> Man. 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 And you got to buy a month worth of sponsorship. <laughs> We're gonna come back. Have a seat, my brother. What's up? What's up, Mr. Clean? You brought, you brought the whole squad with you? Squad life. What's up, man? Hey, yeah, don't take your last little pill. 
Let Jay have a seat. Sit over there. We got 31 seconds. Going back live, 31 seconds, all right? Oh, you see, I'm looking like, what are you looking at? He said, yeah. Y'all eyes loaded up, man. Huh? That good thing? That's good thing. <laughs> you got some more in the car? We're going back live. Nine, ten seconds, ten seconds. Y'all got to press cheeks together and talk. <laughs> and we back, we back. It's the J and L and A show on the Fishbowl Radio Network. We're in the gray stream, 9 p.m. to 11 every Wednesday on the Fishbowl Radio Network. And if you want to follow us and check us out on any platform, any uh podcast platform, check us out on uh iHeartRadio. Check us out on where else we at? You can follow me on Facebook. We ain't talking about following you. Oh, you can catch us. I don't scratch that, scratch that, scratch that. Yeah, I turn your about to turn your mic off. We got Spotify, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple iTunes, and probably like 15 different platforms. So just uh find your favorite. Find your favorite podcast platform and you'll find us. He's been saying it for the past three, four months. To y'all. We've been on we've been on most of those platforms. That's right. Like, since we started. Yes, yeah, it's like, like put your teeth all the way on. And, uh, and I, I wanna <laughs> I want what mic is mine so I can I would like I to uh say. welcome our, our in studio guest just showed up. Yeah, yeah, Miss, yeah, 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 Mr. Roddy Woods is hey, in the house, y'all. y'all. Man, how y'all doing out there, man? Ain't no cameras on me, man. Ah, oh, yeah, you got cameras. I like to see me. Yeah, hey, man, you mix with Chinese, good. huh? You mix with Chinese, Japanese. Nah, I mix with nigga and mo nigga. Yeah, I mix with nigga and mo nigga. My mama nigga and my dad is a mo nigga. Yeah, I'm all the way around. Yeah, we, they not say that. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, we can't say that. No, nah, man, it's a clean oh, radio oh. show. <laughs> you ain't giving y'all supposed to get a man. Well, well, I'm gonna let them know. I'm gonna let, let them know. I ain't seen my boy in a minute. I said my boy look like Ray off a of, uh, off a life. The Ray and Clyde <laughs> when they got old. When they got old. But see what happened is they got old. He said that. We all got old. Yeah, he was standing on us. Remember, he was standing on them, on them, them, them bottles of shaking and said, said, if that would have been me, I would have shot you. I would have been clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. It's all right. We ain't got no dump, no dump button yet, uh, okay, Rowdy. All right, all right, you know, all right. We're going to keep it clean. We're going to keep it clean. We're, we're going to scratch gonna that right there. Keep it clean. Man. But, uh. We're going to scratch that. But man. we got, we got, <laughs> we got comedian yeah, Roddy Woods yeah. in the house today. Yeah. The real and, uh, Roddy Woods. The real Roddy, Roddy Woods Roddy is in the house. Yeah, and uh, yeah. what you been up to, my brother? Man, you know, man, I've been uh working, man, working, man. You know, even yeah. when I'm not working, I'm working, man. That's you know what what's saying? up? For one, you know, what I'm saying uh, this I'm, this is a Dallas Patriot. I know more people see me with uh, yeah, you the, got the, the Patriots. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But it's on. Dallas Patriots. It's Dallas Patriots. It's my football team. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm I got the that. head coach. I'm the head coach. Yeah, I won state. Yeah, yeah, That's what's yeah, up. yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all give it up for the boys, man. Flag. Yeah, yeah. We number one in the state. Yeah, we want state, man. We not want to state, man. Cause I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm a Cowboys fan. By the way, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's different. That's better, better, like man. a go Cowboys. Uh, that's, yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That show look like the other kind of Patriots uh, uniform. On. No, logo. no, this is this is head coach drip. Right? All right, this is head coach drip right here. Right, right, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, before you got here, we we've, we've been talking about this whole uh, surviving or Kelly uh-huh. situation, and uh-huh. uh, and um, want to get your take on it, my brother. What you think about this whole? This whole situation man, that R. Kelly got himself into. Man, you know what, man? Honestly, man, I'm going to keep it real, man. I'm, keep I'm it 100. I'm, I'm, I'm riding with the folks, man. I'm riding with the people, man, because I got two daughters. Yeah, man. yeah. I ain't going to lie. I grew up on R. Kelly, man. I, I love R. Kelly's music. You know what I'm saying? But as a person, man, I can't respect that. Man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That stuff, man, you, you got to be a monster, man, just to think back and just to think stuff. And then now... Now just think about how you go back and, and listen to his music now. You know what I'm saying? I was listening to uh what uh what song was it? Uh Seems Like You're Ready. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> some of the some of the some of the some of the lyrics in there, he, he said something on there. He said, uh I uh, I can be your playground, uh, you can be my playground. What? Hold on, hold on. I'm like, 
He was talking to a child. Like, yeah, I we didn't think about it back then. You know you what? You're right. You're yeah, right. Give me your playground. And let me, you know, and you know the rest. But he was talking to a child. Yeah, he was talking to a child, man. Yeah, man, that man's a monster, man. They they taking them off our K one hundred four, man. I just seen how they doing them, and I heard them folks were. Uh, so, what you think about the music? You think the music shouldn't be played either? At your own. That's will. why. I, I, at your own will. If, yeah, I mean, yeah, if yeah. you decide to, but as far as like putting it out there, pushing it as the black, you know what I'm saying? You nah, nah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. And you know, and I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to it, but just on some funny joke and stuff because. You know, <clears throat> your phone going there, you might plug it up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, man, I, as the music man, it's music stations. Nah, they shouldn't press it, man. They shouldn't push it, man. Yeah, because that's that's wrong, man. That's wrong, man. Them do like know, that. They, they they didn't play as music, no way. Uh, oh, oh, only time they played it was at at a family event. A uh, uh, step in the name of love. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nah, but you know what though? I was watching the you know the little series that they had of it though. Yeah, and uh. That I believe I can fly. Hmm. It touched a lot of people. He went all the way to church. It was church of saying that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was international. Man, yeah, I mean, he had kids. He went all the way from kids. Chinese version. Man, he had kids all the way from, kids. Yeah. Kids <laughs> the way from preschool all the way to high school graduates saying this song all the way to church is saying this song. Yeah. He touched everybody. He won everybody over in the midst of all that freaky stuff he's been doing. And my yeah, thing is. everybody more ways than one. My thing is they, they call him a. Uh, a musical genius yeah but really if is. you can't read and i mean think about his songs though yeah i mean i believe i could fly yeah some of his songs like that are elaborate yeah right i guess it's feel like he's a musical genius. I, I guess it's, I, do. I do i guess it's because of the way he arranged he the, arranged the music. pretty good man you know, and then on that for Michael said, Jackson, you can't. Yeah, Michael yeah, Jackson, Michael Jackson. So he did Michael Jackson. That's Michael true. Jackson. They said Michael Jackson said he sounds like me. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying a genius creates good music. I'll give you that. But all at the same time, all he talked about was one thing. Was that with the exception of I believe I can fly? Uh -huh. No, Sadie. I mean, it's not many. Sadie. I mean, Sadie. like Sadie. you, you. It's not many. Like ninety-eight percent of his catalog is about one thing. Not ninety-eight. I, I give about ninety, ninety percent. I okay, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say ninety. <laughs> I really wouldn't that's even that's say ninety. I give him at least, at least seventy-five because he has got twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, twenty-five. He at least got twenty-five of. Oh, that you can drop over here at the family union. Mm -hmm. You know, we yeah, go to church, you, you know. You think about way. his songs. What you about the catalog on, on behalf of others? He worked for yeah. Celine Dion. Yeah. A lot of other people. Yeah. You, just yeah. Yeah. you just deep down on, you just on, on, on 12 playing yeah, all that. Just, you know, the, you know, the ball headed one when you stand yeah. up there with the, you know, with the chocolate factory. TP2.com. Yeah, 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 man. TP2 and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to think about the clean stuff he had, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, some clean stuff, you know. And we could have just, you know, played at the family functions, you know. But you know, I mean, I'm all tapped the foot when he played. Heard it. It's 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 a it's a it's a pretty tough situation to uh, to have to look in that situation and have a a, a a a 16 year old girl or whatever in that kind of situation. I mean, if you had a kid, if you had a a, a daughter. I don't see how these parents would just let him, you know, let them let the daughter just like, okay, we we'll see you later. We'll they, see you in two weeks. But they say he won them over. Did you see the series? I don't know how much that I must. I don't know how much winning you could do. You could do it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. If I, it's my daughter, you could do it. Hey, yeah. my daughter. It's but they say the man was gullible. They say the man was win glowing. a black mama man, you know, over. When you, when you go like, around, he's just so rich and gullible. He's just man. You know, woo -woo. And, but they say he portrayed it like he knew that this was a child. Did you just see what the girl said? Uh, uh, Sparkle. Yeah. She said that. Once one of the parents came around, the fourteen-year-old mama, he he talked to them like he knew that this was she, a child. But the whole time they had did some, you know, what I'm saying the little old with with them like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, yeah, it's crazy, man. I but just, I, even I, though I, he I said that, it. I cannot see it just with a daughter. Even mm -hmm. 
things have always it's, it's been bad. There, you know man. what I'm saying? It's been creeps out there it's, since the beginning of time. Creeps like, out yeah, there, like man. creeps aren't a 2018 but they thing. Your face, though. You know what I'm saying? Creeps uh, uh, ain't a 2018 thing. And let's be real. The preacher, especially these no, black the mamas. Preacher. You know what happened. You yeah. know what happened. You know what yeah, happened. Yeah. So I just don't see how you could consciously yeah. make a decision. Hey. Like I said, I feel like people people ignore things, people ignore things and do certain things because they feel like they can get to a better place because of it. You was thinking about living in a house like R. Kelly's. You was thinking about having all this money, having all these cars, and you sacrificed your child. And I know some of y'all, I know some of y'all had cousins. <laughs> like, but, but, but yeah, I know so, you had kissy cousins. <laughs> but the thing about that is, what about the, the 16 and 17 year old that was getting picked up by the dope boys back in back in the gap? Yeah. In high school. Yeah. The same thing. I mean, younger yeah. than that. But the thing is, they ain't R. Kelly. Yeah, they ain't R. Kelly. They ain't, <laughs> Kelly. They ain't, <laughs> they ain't dead or in jail, or they ain't make it like that. Exactly. Right. Right. He made it enough for a public eye to where they can say, oh, no, nah, no. Nah, Man, hey man, right. on, man. Uh, it, we it, got this girl over here saying you touched her. It's basically you know, yeah. she over here saying I, I you touched more. her, locked her in the closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that song you had trapped in the closet? Yeah, well, she said you really wrote that about her. She really trapped in the closet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. you know, it's it's that what she was saying. Sparkle said he was a musical genius. The stuff he was singing about, it was actually stuff he was living. You know, like yeah. say, like the rappers. You gotta live it, you know what I'm saying? And make it easy to yeah, talk so about. Uh, so they be lying. Though. Hey, if uh, man, he wasn't lying. No, no, no he wasn't. He we know he, he wasn't lying. lying. Now we know he wasn't lying. Put it in from the front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling him. He was telling him. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't lying. It seems like you're line. ready. Yeah, he told him it seems like you're ready. Oh. It seems <laughs> like you're ready. You hear me? You hear me? You remind me of a Jeep. Man, so that might have been new in the <laughs> Hey, if y'all want to call in, join the conversation. Uh, call in at 214 It's the J and LNA show, man. and we're joined by comedian uh Rowdy Woods in the, in the house. Yeah, man. Also, man, hey, man, uh, I've been uh traveling a little bit too, man. I've been traveling a little bit. That's I've been traveling up. a little bit. I just came back in from San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah San Antonio is pretty good. I shout out to San Antonio. That's San what's Antonio up. Trip is pretty good out there. I actually got booked to come back out there uh, January the 26th. Yeah. So this month, I'm going back out there to San Antonio. And uh, Friday, I will be uh, shooting out to Irvine. Uh, California, right, 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 California. So you ain't gonna be at the three. That's where they be having a new uh training camp at. The, it's a training camp. What's it? No, that's that's like a lot of push up. What? what who? I can't <laughs> that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, no, okay. She talking about a training camp. I said, no, nah, I can't do no push ups. Let me. Hey, look. Let me. Let me. I know we was talking about the R. Kelly and everything, but let's let's properly introduce my man one more time, man. We got the real Roddy Woods in the building, man. This cat is super funny, man. He's running around uh state to state, giving us that funny, man. He's been a big supporter of LNA comedy. He's been coming. He's been down since day one, man. He was. I remember you was at the LNA Mondays. I remember you at the Tuesdays. Uh, I remember first meeting you, bro, when we was at a we was at a little Cajuns in Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff, and it was June Bug, uh, T Bone. It was your show. Yeah. Uh, I remember Sticks and Danny J came, yeah. and you let me get on, bro. You gave yeah. me a good six, seven minutes, bro, yeah. and I had fun, man. It was the first yeah. time doing a show, and it was real similar to Detroit, man. So I want to say shout out to you for that, man. Yeah, and uh. Bro, let the people know what you're doing out here, man. Let man, them know. Okay, man. I've been I've been running around. I've been traveling. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Epsi gang. You know what I'm saying? I'm a part of the Epsi gang. Shout out to Mike Epsi and the rest of the Epsi gang. Shout out to my 4ST stat gang boys. You know what I'm saying? My boys that uh, came with me. You know what I'm saying? They, they in the studio. I don't know if y'all can see. I, I would have put the camera on my boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they rapping. They got some hot stuff coming up. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just stay tuned for that right there for my 4ST stat gang boys. Yeah, yeah, they, they locked in. But the, as far as the comedy, though, man, I've been traveling. I just came back from San Antonio with Mike Epps. Uh, who else was with us? Uh, Henry Welch and uh, Scruncho. I'm off going to catch out, like I said, to Irvine. And I'm going to pick up with the extra game and the rest of Mike Epps and the rest of the crew. Uh, I think D-Ray Davis and uh, who? Oh yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. You talk about you tell me that he, Shreveport, he Shreveport, for sure, for sure. Oh yeah, Shreveport, we on the way. 
Shreveport, we on the way. February the fourteenth. I'm a Valentine. Come, I'm gonna come uh, kidnap one of D. Ray Davis' girlfriends. Oh man, they be with him too, man. He oh, be yeah. looking like a god walking around. <laughs> I don't know man, about we'll that. We'll be at the I'm... shows after he get off the stage. They both be with him. They just be happiest, man. <laughs> I said, Ooh, well, hey, man, how long man. he been knowing them girls? Because uh, man, he might be dude. another uh, man. R. Kelly. Man. <laughs> you ready for the shot? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Ready for the shot. Shout out to D. Ray, man. Shout out to D. Ray Dave. That's my boy, man. Michael Blackson, Earthquake, Bruce, Bruce, some more. Yeah, yeah. Henry yeah. Welch, hey, scrunch up, hey, man. I miss with all y'all, man. I see y'all in a minute, man. But uh. Like I say, uh, Shreveport on Valentine, and uh, I'm also doing some here in the city. Uh, what's that on the 20th, 20th of this month? We're here at uh, Gators, Gators, downtown Dallas, yeah, yeah. So, you know, people want to come check me out, they come out there. What's uh, the name of that show? The 20th of January, yeah, yeah. That's it's that's this month, that's this month. What's the name of the show? Who? Oh. Uh, Making of the legends, legends too. too. Yeah, it sounds like something with Bond B should be. <laughs> 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 they say, yeah, I'm a Bond, man. I know a dude that look like them in the dude. They got me sitting right in the front. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that dude was my favorite. Uh, Mine. Yeah. So, Roddy, yeah. Roddy, yeah. Roddy, 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 how long, how long you been doing comedy, man? How long you be? Yeah. Man, I've been doing comedy for at least uh, three about four, maybe three years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three, four years. Like it, bro. You yeah, I be, I be, I be off and on, man. You know, it, natural though. Yeah, natural. natural. Yeah. Right? You, like the way you smooth it off and yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got Describe it, Mike. Man. Describe Roddy, it. Roddy got that technique now where he's more of an energized type cat, man, and then he got some real good punchlines. Uh-huh. He got some nice setups, man, and he keep it 1,000. I like that, man. You know, some people uh-huh. have different styles. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, man. People can't hear me at all. I'm just talking. All I can hear you. I'm understanding. You can hear me. They can hear you just fine. If, yeah. if y'all can't okay hear it, Mike is describing right it would. I'm gonna be honest though. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually blessed to be around some of the guys that that you know kind of show me the game and pull my coattail and you know kind of tighten me up when I you know jump off, do this, do that. Why you say this? Hey, this how you you know, and just being up under them. So I shout out to Mike Gibbs because he gained me a lot. He gave me a lot. He, he tells me a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, and I respect him to the T. You know what I'm saying? I never would, would, would go out against him like uh, try to get, oh, I'm be bigger than him. I'm be good. He gave me the game. Man. I'm going to respect him all the way to the So team, how, how you make that connection with Mike Epps? Oh, uh, man. It's, it's, man, it's actually deeper than deep, man. Uh, my man, my manager, you know what I'm saying? Jay. My yeah. manager, Jay. His father actually has been managing Mike Epps for uh, a few years. Okay. okay. Maybe a bit more. Uh, uh, I say, I say close to, close to 18, 19 years. Oh, okay. Maybe 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been running together. They've been running together for at least about 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Strong. So it's like, it's deep in the deep, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's, it's family ties. You know what I'm saying? That's they just want up. us to do our thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and put our work in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what we go do. Because we don't want nothing gave to us, nothing saying like, nothing. oh no, nah, nothing, none of that. Oh no, nah. it was gave to them because of that. Me and my man, we gonna put our work in, man. Shout out to my manager Jay, man. He went the work. Shout out, Jay. Jay. Shout out Jay. It's three Jays in the studio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man. Let me ask you this: because you work with other, you know, bigger name comedians, and you making your bones. Um. Cat Williams, I'm sure you heard the, the news with Cat Williams about Tiffany Haddish, right? Uh-huh. About Cat basically saying how she didn't earn her working. And you were just alluding about nothing being given to you, about going on and doing what you got to do. So when you get to that spotlight, you won't choke up. How do you feel about the Tiffany Haddish thing on New Year's? Man, honestly, I feel like, you know, me as a comedy man, I, I, I just... I pray to God that I just don't have that day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just being honest, I pray to God I don't, I don't, I don't see that day to where I'm up there in front of that many people and, and that was something to happen to me. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, me as comic, us as comics, you know that that day can stand at any time. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, hey, man, it happens. And it happens to the best of them. You know what I'm saying? So really, they can't really down that girl like that, man. I honestly feel like, you know what I'm saying, they kind of take a little bit too hard on them, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, cause she's actually good. She's actually good there, and I respect her, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tiffany Hatton. I like her, you know what I'm saying? And, and I respect what she doing and how she kind of handling it, but yeah, it's, 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 it's should, it should be a little bit, you know what I'm saying, kind of a little bit more ease on her, because... They handle about it. They handle about it. And, <laughs> and Cat Williams, no, he go, he go handle. Them. And you know, everybody ain't gonna be one hundred on every time they hit the stage. Yeah, you gonna, you gonna get one, one day where it's gonna be somebody. It's gonna be some. You gonna get oh, that yeah. one at one day yeah, when you're not gonna be on. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. I and did some. Orleans. I was in San Antonio. I was in San Antonio. Where? This weekend, uh, I mean, not, not this weekend, uh, a few weekends ago with Mike Epps. And well, I'm with Mike Epps, and we doing a little tour. And man, I was up there, I was in the middle of one of my jokes, man. Middle of it, man. And I pulled the mic out of the floor, <laughs> oh, man. snatched it, it came out. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm still trying to get my point. I'm like, oh man, but I picked up on it though. It's yeah. like, it's like, I look at this, like, it's like, you broke the mic. I know I ain't break it, but I snatched the cord out the floor. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, you know, we in San Antonio, you know, it's a little country yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, it ain't, yeah. ain't no walk on a wireless score. You know, it's, it's snap, yeah, yeah, drunk too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I snatched it right up out of there. You know what I'm saying? But I, but I picked up on it though. I uh, I plugged it in and I picked up on my joke. So it was kind of like I, I was, you know what I'm saying, on point still. Yeah. But yeah, I messed up, you know, it happened to the best of I ain't the best, and, you know. She not the best either, so you know they just gotta kind of take a little bit. She go, she go, she gonna bounce back from. Yeah. She'll bounce back from. Yeah, I know? think she'll be all right. So yeah. talking about the who's the best, uh, in your opinion, I'm sure you work. You know, you work with a lot of big name comedians. Who's the best that you've seen working? Not just like on TV or you know YouTube clips, but who you work with that you think was the best? You know, delivery punchline, just whole package comedian. Uh. Not that I work with, but uh, the best man is Richard Pryor, man. The best man, I give it to Richard Pryor, man. The legend, legend, man. Richard Pryor, man. If anybody ever, have y'all seen that video when he had that interview with that man? He was on 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 TV and they was recording it. Y'all ever seen that video? Yeah, be on TV. They record. Nah, when he was young. You ever seen it? Oh no, nah, y'all gotta check that out, man. Y'all yeah, show telling people uh, to check out man, my video. Man, check out, man. check out, look, <laughs> check out. Just, just, just put it up. Just say Richie Pryor, hi, on interview. Man, that's the rawest interview that you will ever get from a comic, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He raw, and they were recording. They was recording live, and the man was like, uh, <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> like with it. "Commercial, we nothing with it. Cause we nothing with it, man." Man, that man is so raw and uncut, man. But like who I work with, uh, I gotta give it to the big homie. I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to Mike. Also, D Ray Davis, Tony Rock, too. Tony Rock and Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley and Tony Rock. Shout out to Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley gives me really good game. Every time I've ever done the Verizon, I've done it and I brought Ricky Smiley out. Ricky Smiley gives me very good game. Ricky Smiley, though. So shout out to Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley and Tony Rock. Tony Rock, Tony yeah, Rock. That's Chris Rock's. Uh, Chris Rock's brother. Direct. Yeah, not, yeah. Not the youngest one because I think Jordan. Jordan. Like the youngest. Yeah, yeah. He is hilarious. He is hilarious. <laughs> uh, but Tony is the one right under. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I ain't yeah. seen Jordan on. You know, I hadn't seen this stand up. I saw it maybe like once or twice. But I, I think Jordan is good too. Yeah, yeah, Jordan's yeah. good. Me and Queen Wait, went to uh, check him out at the Improv uh, last time he was at the Improv. Uh, hilarious, man. Dude, dude, dude's on his game, man. So, uh, and shout uh, out to Tony Rock uh, yeah. with the death uh, comedy jam thing yeah. going on. Shout out to my boy DC Young Fly, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, DC shout out to him. Thing. Everybody, everybody out there kind of like yeah, yeah. hitting it hard. Everybody out there doing their thing. Let me ask you this question. Because I know you're kind of more into the life and you got some your social circles are bigger. Uh -huh. um, I just found out something today, and they probably already knew about it because they're more in tune to the news. But just hilarious and 
uh, country, country wine. wine. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they dated. Been in a dating <laughs> type relationship. To yeah. The where she bought him a ring. Yeah, they dated. Monastery type ring, and he was supposed to be getting a divorce. He like, is getting a divorce. But, but but she just made a whole seventeen minute video like a day or two ago about how that divorce stuff is phony and this that and other. Gotta watch the video, of course. So I'm not gonna spoil the video for y'all. But man, what you do? You you, you look like you ain't even know look, I was gonna say now. How was we yeah. supposed to know that? Just, My face over here looking like a, a in love with hip hop. You know you what they get? You didn't know what happened to the last security guards. How was we yeah. supposed to know what happened to them? For real. <laughs> he talking about they probably already know. Don't don't put that on people. We were like y'all was on the phone this morning. Yeah. Earlier uh-huh. in the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead. Watch yourself. Sad. Watch yourself. Now. What else y'all was talking about? Watch yourself. Watch yeah. yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so y'all was talking after, about after, relationships this morning about, and what hey, else? Hey, watch yourself. That's what we were talking. About. Uh, so y'all and were discussing was y'all talking. Y'all was topics. discussing hot topics this Watch morning yourself. on the phone. Well, it's called hot topics. Did so you yeah. uh? Did you say bye bye when y'all hung up? <laughs> yeah. Hey, with that said, <laughs> hey, with that said, we're gonna take a commercial break. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna play some music. Got that sweater and, uh, on. <laughs> you listen to the J and LA show on the Fishbowl Radio Network. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That in jail, I thought I was going to have a baby and the baby would never be with me.
Bullshit. 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 Bullshit.
Yo. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> oh. Man, I don't the know. mic song coming up. Oh man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. This 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 computer is freezing up. Hey, we back, we back. It's the Jay, oh, it's the Jay and LA show <laughs> on the Fishbowl Radio Network. Cut Jesus off like that. And uh, we're we're in the gray stream. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to? We had technical difficulties. We're on a new board and it's freezing up on us. Yeah, so. yeah. It's a new board, but the same one uh, as the other one. Yeah, but it's freezing. It, it doesn't. It's Jesus not quick as old. Jesus is my doctor. Yeah, and he rides down all of my scriptures. That girl can say. Oh, <laughs> I'm about he to gives me <laughs> all of my medicine in my room. She ain't been to church ever in her life. Amen. <laughs> she don't even believe in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? I used to sing Amanda. in the choir. I was in all the church plays and everything. Like I was like the first I played real the life religious, dramatic. Like tambourine play. No, I ain't play no tambourines, I but I was I, I, I was good in all the church but plays. I, I, play play like check it out, I ain't about to play with y'all. You probably you was good. <laughs> I was excellent. Like, we ain't got too much. Golden Globes. Minutes left. Golden like, Globes where, 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 when where, it comes uh, to the church plays. Where, you got me mad. Get off the church. We ain't in the church. We try to hit this one more time. I'm sick of this church. Mama, the Lord's time. So what is what does y'all do on New Year's? What did y'all do on New Year's? I got drunk. I work. I work. I went to the booty club. Y'all made me think about it because I went to church. I went to church on New Year's. I brought it in the right way. Right, it was. You know you ain't been no church. Man, I went to church on New Year's. <laughs> I brought it in the right way, too. Yeah, Man, where you at? Whatever. Booty club. What are you nah, talking about? You church. might be doing that. I went to church. That. It was good. Just it was good. Your nah, way can't be church. better. That's called nah, judging. Good. The pastor, it was good. He gave a good word. But he got to saying some stuff talking about that we were going to do our... Uh, our uh, uh, what, what what was it? Singles what was retreat. Man? No, 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 no. <laughs> Revival. He's, no, no, no. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why fast? And that's what he said. He, he that's what he called Ramadan. It. He said, "Yeah, Ramadan." He said, "He said we're gonna give a few things a little bit early." So he said, "We're gonna stop eating and watching TV to after three o'clock." The whole church got quiet. Then you heard a man in the back say, "Ah, uh, you just a lot of cowboys playing something." <laughs> yeah, I said, oh, tell my daddy sit down. <laughs> it was my old man. Nah, you know, oh, man. you know, man, you know, a man go, he go, he go with need, man. He gonna go against the man. You can't go against the football man on church services. Uh -uh. You know, man, we trying to get up out there. You ever seen a man watching this ticket in church? Oh, watching yeah. this ticket, I be and, and watching the ticket, looking at his phone. Yeah, yeah, he be like they were here in church, man. We go there preach, he be like they're. <laughs> Okay, I hope this look, praying you know, on his dick. Yeah, <laughs> me, uh, every me, every me. I ain't gonna lie. To you. All right, I played a I played a parlay on the way to church sometimes. Y'all listen to the J and L and A show on the Fishbowl Radio Network. We're in the great stream, and we're joined by a comedian Roddy Woods in the house. The real yeah. Roddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the real yeah. Roddy. The real Roddy. Woods. Roddy Woods. Yeah. Impersonator out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so, 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 so for for the non believing Mr. T. They can follow me on Instagram, and that's T H A. That's not the. That's T H A. Yeah, real Roddy Woods. The T H A. So, man, so who is this character that I see on Facebook that that, yeah, that got yeah, your yeah, face yeah, all on yeah. it? Then, uh huh. I don't know. We no, need to. We need to find him. Who cares? Character that you play, man. Uh uh. You got an alter ego. I don't know what his uh -uh. name is. Yeah, I, I think I did see you like in a leopard yeah, shirt or something. One day. With some with some with some white jeans. No, nah, so I got look. I got a jean oh, coat with a little leopard collar. No, no, no that. <laughs> no, that's 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 Leroy Johnny. That's my uncle, man. Shout out to Leroy Johnny. That's my uncle. Man, that that's my uncle. He is a producer. That's his name. That's the producer. Y'all shout out to the producer. 
Yeah, shout out to Leroy Johnny, the producer. Shout out to Blue. That's my uncle right there, man. <laughs> yeah, that's my uncle right there, Leroy Johnny, man. He was in that Mo3 video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dropped the dime on Mo3. Yeah, yeah. He told me, yeah, nap if I had to get some money. I said, man, uncle, you snitched on him, man. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah, man. Shout out to Leroy yeah, Johnny, Johnny, man. Yeah, man. Real Johnny, Johnny. Leroy Johnny. He's doing Johnson. He heard you call that. He would have punched you. Right. I'm trying to cut you. I called him. I called him out his name one day. Boy, he trying to reach for something. You ever see the old man reach for something? He reaching out. I said, Ooh, what are you reaching for? Yeah, yeah, oh, what are you reaching for, man? Yeah, man. Oh, Leroy Johnny. I don't want to smoke, but you need the queen. But yeah, uh. Uh oh, yeah, that was shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, 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 <laughs> now, we've been talking about the R. Kelly surviving R. Kelly docu series, but on another note, we're gonna get in on another topic real quick before we, we end the show about the situation from the McDonald's customer yanking on the, the, the uh, young lady employee. Did y'all see the video? Yeah, I've seen, I, I seen the video on all the ends of social. Kelly back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. So, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what, yeah, watch that now if y'all, if you guys were in that situation, I would have never applied. Now, if you were a, a male uh, and you standing there watching this, uh, what, what you would have done? Hit him across the head, one of them Big Macs. Because <laughs> the brother, yeah, I would have hit him right across the head with a with quarter him with pounder. Fry yeah, yeah, would have been fried grease. I would have put the spaster in the, in the fry man, grease. Man, it would have been all type of mustard and, and barbecue sauce on his <laughs> man yeah, face. You hear me? That boy smooth across yeah. the head. Yeah. Even if I would have been standing head. behind him. And watching it as a customer, I probably would have knocked up. I had to, man, as a man. As a man. As a man. As a man. I probably would have choked him out. Yeah, yeah, what type His arthritis would have been acting up. Come on, don't fail me now. Yeah, type of morals and principles God directs these men have. Yeah. Sit up here and let this man grab a hold of this lady like this and don't do nothing about it. But, and, and you know, I stand on my word. Well, they and, 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 and that's all I have. So uh, I'm going to tell you like this. Whether I was a customer or a worker, I'd, I'd have to get in the business. Had to get on them. I would have to give him the business. Hey, and, 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 I, and I hate to sound prejudiced. But he was the man. He was one of the, oh, he was hey. the man. But did y'all check out? I stand out, up for my guy. Oh, well, did y'all sure check out, ready. though, how... When it went down, he lied and was like, well, I just wanted to ask her a question because he hadn't realized that yeah. somebody was recording at yeah, that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if wasn't, if nobody would have been recorded, I promise you, they would have fired yeah, that girl won. and yeah, everything. Yeah, won. They would have went right he'd on won. with him. Won. I, I worked in the gentleman's yeah. club. Now, I know what to do. That would have happened. Yeah. If wasn't nobody filming that, they would have fired her and they would have made it. Cause he, cause he switched it up so quick. So my, I just, she got I just good wanted to you ask him. Oh, yeah. She got some good with this. <laughs> She was hitting him. You see, after that first two, he was just he was just right, dropping yeah, there. Was... And, 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 and they just started fighting like girl. Yeah, yeah. He had to hit her with the rope and yeah, She kept saying, then she kept saying, I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that. I bet he kept saying, I didn't even want that. I didn't even want that. <laughs> He didn't know what that was. You grabbed at it. Yeah. She let him know. She was on that. What she, what she say, Roddy? I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that. He kept saying, what is that? Oh, man. What other McDonald's story? Yeah, we only got a couple minutes left. Let's talk about this other McDonald's stories I just picked up I today. hope it ain't no friendly, man. All right. Uh, a homeless man walking to McDonald's, right? Okay, we all know people. Dollar menu. A lot of people go there. It's all good. This man brought a raccoon. In the McDonald's with him, not only a raccoon, a damn raccoon with a oh, yeah. bloody face. Oh, no. He set set raccoon down on his table and just was chilling. You seen the living color? <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you see when I Jamie thought... Foxx brought Duke in there? Yeah. I uh, Duke. Uh, okay I then. Duke you you you, you, you yeah. yeah. <laughs> no no you you not finna take that man. That, Duke, that's Duke. Did it. Dude, look, I, I thought he was stuck about to start. Did, did he eat the? Did he eat it? Yeah. So I was gonna say, what else? What else happened? This what happened. So a guy, that happened to be the, the guy who did it happened to be Caucasian, and the guy who was filming happened to be African American, and the guy who was filming was going off on. Well, he he was black, 
or whatever you want to yeah, call yeah. that. Uh, but he I'm was going mad. off on dude, like, dude, you know, but he's doing it on tech so it can be seen that whatever, whatever. So the guy ended up leaving, but he left the dead raccoon on the table in this McDonald's in San Francisco. They what? ain't had no sign up. <laughs> nah, nah, fuck that. I don't give a hey. Oh. If you ain't got no sign up, you can't tell me. Nah, what it's- I, all right, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> screw that, man. Screw that. I don't care what <laughs> age, uh, race you are, man. You are not gonna bring no dead animal in no establishment where we gotta eat at, man. <laughs> it could have been. I'm I'm black. It could have been one of my brothers coming up in there. I would have said. You're tripping. <laughs> You're tripping. You might put leave him right there by the door. At least leave him by the door. I would have tried to talk to him like, like, bro, come on now, bro. It's kids up in her. It's kids up in her. I've been scared as I've been scared as hell. Kids gonna want to play with. Yeah, I'd have been like, man, it's kids up here. Like they probably lurch to it. Just leave it at the door, man. You know, I, I try to keep hey. that stuff confused, but I would try to stop him. I but I've been recording. I'd probably I mean, been scared gotta, of him. I gotta be on the man's side. It's gotta be something wrong with him walking around. I gotta be on the man's side because they ain't had no sign up. I gotta be on this side. I bet they had a no shoes, no shirt, no service sign. Now y'all on the uh, <laughs> the J and L and A show on Fishbowl Radio Network. We in the great stream, y'all. The, the yeah. dude in there messed up this man for making a hat. Man, it was customers walking out, people walking out like he had a bomb in it. You should have seen them people. I would have did the same thing. I'd have been one of them coming, walking right up out of there. Man, oh, I had about her. You know what? I, I want to eat Wendy's anyway. It was still a hat. Hey, hey, if they had no hey, time, but on that video, we're going to have to cut the show. We're going to have to go because we're in studio with uh with, uh, with Riley Woods. Riley, yeah. what, what can we find you, bro? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the real Roddy Woods at T H A real Roddy Woods and uh, Facebook. You can look me up. Uh, on Leroy Johnny, Leroy Johnny, and uh, also you can catch me uh, this was it May, May fourth. I will be doing the Verizon with eighty five South with Carlos, uh, and the rest of the crew. DC Young Fly, Mike Epps, um, Earthquake, and uh, a few more. I'll be doing uh, May fifth at the Verizon, so y'all can come out and check that out. And uh, May fourth, May fourth. I mean, I May fourth, May fourth. Let me correct that. May fourth. The uh, last show is May fifth, so May, May fourth. May fourth. May fourth. That's what's up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Me? He's talking about my yeah, backstage pass. He slid in and I you know you good, my man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, you know you good. I got good. my media pass. You know, I, I'm yeah. in there. You know, yeah. yeah. He's like, in there. Yeah, 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 but yeah. um, yeah, uh, you, you catch me at Jay Liggins on Facebook, Cool J underscore underscore nine two, and Cool uh, on Instagram, and Cool J underscore two three on Twitter, and uh. January the seventeenth, man. Y'all come out to the One Love Lounge, man. Cause uh, that, that's where I'll be. One Love. Yeah, One Love Lounge. What's the, what y'all got going there? It sounds pretty good. All right, Mike. Where, where can you, Queen? Where can they find you, Queen? Well, first off, my name is Sequina Antoinette Thomas. I am from Bastrop, Louisiana, but you can currently find me in Arlington, Texas, um, near the Highlands. What? Don't touch me. Uh, my Facebook is Sequina Louisiana Treat Thomas. Louisiana Treat is all together. L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-A-T-R-E-A-T. You can also find me under Queen the Comedian as well as Sequina Thomas. Both of those are my business pages. Um, and you could also find me on Instagram. <laughs> I need to put you on Dom my voicemail. Louisiana. Oh, my ass for for a small there. fee, I would be grateful to do it for you. Yeah. Um, but you can find me on Instagram at Dom Louisiane, D-A-M-E-L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-E, and also Queen underscore the underscore comedian. Thanks. It's your boy Michael Bowers on Facebook, man. And you can find me at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> and this is <laughs> at the this bar. This is your boy Ryan right now. Mike from the J and L A show until next week. Next Wednesday, 9 p.m. to 11. We'll see you then. Peace out. It's yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check. Catch my show, Virtuous Kingdom Radio, every Friday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. On my show, you'll be able to hear encouragement that fills your soul and mind with truth. We will have hot topics that deal with everyday life, which will include Bible verses along with interviews and testimonies from anointed women and men of God. Join us at Virtuous Kingdom Radio Friday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the Grace.